and it covers you oh, cannot roll through it. It does. There's that shockwave, but even then, that was that was far behind him. There was almost a full body line. Yeah, them. that was definitely like they played a whole game really comfortably, really accurately, and then both of them just tense again. Yeah, the end. <laughs> Howard, after being triumphant in game one, he's gonna be first force off the side. Alright, okay, going for that command grab. Only time for the front hit of Nair. Leading to that drag down forward air from game four. Yet to take any percent on this first off. Ah, uh, intercepted his recovery, buffering the bad air dodge. He might have been looking for a tech there, understandable. Good old Smash Ultimate Special, but that is an extremely early stock for TM4. In fact, that was a zero to death. Holds around that Arc Thunder. That sort of is the difference. He goes through that Nosferatu again. All right. Yeah, A Coward taking that game one with just a little bit of luck, but TM4 striking back quick in this game too. Has the stock lead now and trying to take it all the way to the bank. Yeah, for a man who has been making his way through bracket, usually being the one to make the comeback, found himself on the other end of it there. <laughs> They're trading fire for fire. They, they both have, a, I just realized, both of these characters have a fiery side B that traps you in the move. Might, maybe sus the eye, you know, that sometimes you can live that, but a coward taking the stock. Revan Sword uses his, they're getting low. Well, that's not going to be the first thing on his mind. If TM4 finds that up there, now a full stop in the lead. Yeah, and Coward's going to need to make some magic happen, uh, both literally and figuratively. I mean, he's got the magic specials. Uh, the fire moves be clashing. That's throwing out yo yo's. Just off the market back there, but still able to find another nair. There's that forward air in the nair. Oh my god, TM4 with all the momentum right now. Down throw into up air. That's the air dodge, so again, just could have gone into that down smash. That's I've the also noticed a few situations where a coward is facing for, you know, arc fire, and that's just too short. Just goes over his head. Oh. Standing at roll, real ledge. Roll distance. Fours get up option. Perry, good, but he does get eat the back here. Wow, he still has a bit of hope left. That drag down upper will end it all. On the platform too, making getting that extra height, making sure that kills. And uh, that was a JD2 stock, I believe, from TM4. It was. Really didn't let it get any closer than a full stock lead until the very end there. And even so, comfortable ending. Yeah, he took the early stock kind of with a little bit of jank with the air dodge, but once he had that lead, he held onto it with an iron grip. We're even at a game of peace from TM4 and Coward. Three, ah, blue stage. Two, one, Finally. Go. Oh, oh my god. There is a lot of magic being thrown around this set. Yes, there is. Walling him out with these fares. And back airs. Sending him deep off stage. Oh, just barely missing his mark. Deal damage. A coward not letting up with all this pressure. That's punish on the PK Thunder. Arc Thunder will get him off stage. A beautiful time confirms into dash attack. Into the dash attack, yeah. Not not one of Robin's uh, key kill moves, but in that case, just perfect. Triple fair. Sneaking in that there at the end too for 51%. That only healed 3%, by the way. I usually expect Ness to heal more. Well, that doesn't necessarily... It's like one of those projectiles that doesn't really come out as strong until it hits something and then sort of bursts. That's true. Hey, Coward showing some good uh, item play there, knowing how to play around, having the book in hand. 
Neutral be getting that charge going. Is this the Thoron opportunity? Robin has the distance there, but is it going to be clean? Definitely not. Ah, the roll. Now a whole stock. Back there, not safe on hit. No big series of 11 aerial. Oh, the Thunder Thunder. Ah! That's without a jump now. A coward ruthless going out so deep once he sees his opponent is in that checkmate situation. What a jaw-dropping sequence from the resident Robin main. I mean, you know Robin's famous for his ledge trapping on stage, but if he's going off stage, you know, he's a he's got a couple of tricks up his sleeve as well and deployed a lot of them there. Yeah, I mean, we saw him using like the quick thunders to just take eat his jump. I actually haven't been seeing a coward doing that a whole lot in neutral, but he does have the quick projectile, and in that case, it was, it was the gimp. Brilliant response from that game two disappointment for Coward. Yeah, uh, so far these games have been, like, they've snowballed. It, it seems like once one player gets the lead, they, they hold on to the lead. So we'll see if that pattern holds true. In this case, uh, oh, big damage coming out from A Coward early on. There's a bit of something substantial from CM4, but having said that, only one hit, only a stray hit at that, not even a combo starter. And the Thoron. Yeah, Thoron is actually a move with a lot of base knockback. Okay, hold on, offstage interactions. Offstage interactions, that's not making it back. Yeah, Thoron actually has a lot of base knockback, and it can kill you at like 40, 30 if you're way out there, but at the same time, it's not killing you. If you get hit by it from the middle of the stage, you'll probably live. Up tilt, neutral tech, leaving him vulnerable to PK fire. So now that Coward got the early lead, will he be able to hang onto it like he did last game? Drive down fair, one down tilt, but. Oh, Thoron fires? Oh, he just oh, the 11 sword ran out. He was absolutely cooking this man with the fire. TM4 responding with an up air. Okay, patience. Patience. Another up air. Not letting a coward land. Oh, that shield dwindling, but taking his time between those fumbles. Every second back is a little bit more shield he will have to that next off. So but back air reaching so far, and now. Like we have been saying, once the once one of these players gets the lead, it seems really hard for the other to, to come back. Four throw again. Although TM4 has a case to make here. Racking up 65%. One landing up there as the sword will escape him. That grab, not finding its mark, getting sent off stage himself. Help under another defensive four there. Okay, I like the landing with the dip. Nice pivot grab. And the up smash. The up smash will send A Coward into his first ever ignition Winterside Grands, I believe. I have to imagine, I can't remember uh, a Winterside Grands that he had made before, so lovely stuff to him. Yeah, so A Coward, uh, May having the run of his life, or at least the run of the PR, starting the PR season off super strong.